we were saying it's more seasonable, but still those temperatures pretty mild this weekend. Yeah, this afternoon is actually going to be pretty nice. We're going to see some sunshine. If you're firing up the grill, perhaps in your own backyard, it's going to be a very nice Sunday, but we are all kind of looking ahead at tomorrow where we've got some rain and potentially some snow set to make its way back into central Indiana. So I wanted to start with this clear picture over downtown Indy as we get our Sunday underway. Just picking up on a few clouds and I do want you to know it is pretty chilly out there right now. Currently sitting at 31, but we've got this northeasterly wind in place and that's making it feel even colder with the wind chill temperature down to just 24 right now. So your forecast for today, once the sun does come up right around the 8 o'clock hour, we will see decent sunshine during the first part of our day as temperature recover out of the 30s, eventually back into the 40s, becoming partly sunny by 3 p.m. as we approach 47 for a high temperature later today here in Indy. 45 in Muncie, 46 in Richmond, up to 47 in Greencastle today. And for the big game tonight, looks pretty good. Again, we're going to keep everything clear. Kick off right there around 630 this evening. We'll be at 44, falling back into the upper 30s as we get you into the latter part of the night tonight. Now, tomorrow's starts off clear. We're going to start off near the freezing mark tomorrow with the mix of sun and clouds. Eventually rain's going to push in after about one o'clock in the afternoon. Notice your temperature profile here. We will be warm enough that this day is mainly rain during the duration of the afternoon and then even into the evening before those numbers start to fall and we'll see rain potentially changing over and mixing with some snow during the overnight. So here we go for your Monday timeline. This is two o'clock in the afternoon. Rain moves in from west West to east and then becomes widespread for that evening drive home on Monday. I want you to be prepared for some pretty wet roadways and some heavy rain at times. This is through 6 p.m. Then as we get you into Monday night, this is around 11 o'clock. Notice how this will start to transition over from rain to snow and then during the overnight hours as everyone's temperature falls back below the freezing mark. It does look like we could potentially get some light snow accumulation out of this. This is 2 o'clock in the morning early Tuesday before for that whole system exit. So we're going to be left behind with some colder conditions and perhaps some uh, slick spots when you are making that Tuesday morning commute. That's that whole system overall. Not expecting widespread snowfall out of that, perhaps one to two inches, mainly south of the I-70 corridor during the overnight Monday into Tuesday. A little colder behind that system will go 42 for your high Tuesday afternoon and then getting you into Valentine's Day 45, partly sunny on Wednesday. Slight rain chance, a high of 50 Thursday, and then we're talking some colder temperatures heading into next week and only going to be in the 30s next Friday and Saturday.